eyesight is mine. That's how we're going to start off. That's how we're going to start off. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Welcome to Argus Urban Legend by Reality Games. Ooh, a little eyeball up there is uh, moving around. So Argus, the meaning, Greek, oh, I guess, uh, I guess I'm not reading that. Creepy pasta, uh, so creepy stories or images that are usually shared around the internet and intended to frighten or whatever. Uh, urban legend, a modern legend, a uh, myth or story with creepy, disturbing content usually spread via social media messages, all this and that. It, it don't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm not afraid of Argus. Argus doesn't scare me. I don't, look, my eyes are my eyes. Argus isn't coming for my eyes. Might be coming for your eyes, but not my eyes. Not my eyes, because he can't get my eyes. Argus can't get my eyes. There's a reason why he can't. It's a secret, but there's a reason. <laughs> Either way, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into Argus. Let's just start a new game. Welcome to Argus. You can start playing right away. In the meantime, we're busy. We're, uh, we're already busy working on more exciting content. Enjoy. All right, we are in. We, I mean, in, in, you know, it's just a cell phone. Look, it just looks looks just like my cell phone. Uh, <laughs> just for your information, as you all know, Reality Games does use flat rate as well as premium or uh, in this case, VIP options and settings or, or you know accessibility, right? So you, you don't necessarily have to be VIP or use the flat rate or purchase a flat rate or VIP to play the game. You can play it completely free, 100% free. Uh, however, there is additional special content that you can access by being VIP and also flat rate. Now, um, in recent games the vip would give you options give you access to the special content but it wouldn't give you just like unlimited what they used to they used to use bix right so bix with the b you know, not the you know yeah um <laughs> uh they they would give you unlimited bix as a flat rate user um how I, so so just just so you know i do have flat rate so we will be using uh every single premium chat option we will be choosing that chat option so um you know if you are playing the game and you don't use the vip or the flat rate which is completely fine you can see all of the premium content in my videos we will choose those um those options those 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 responses we'll choose them every single time even even if i think the other responses are better or funnier we will still choose the premium chat options 100% of the time. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and you know, look. I've I've been I've been lonely recently, and uh, I've been I've been searching for love. I've been searching for love, and I've been doing it on Love Radar. I I, I assume it's a uh, <laughs> it's a hookup site, or I mean a dating dating site. That it's not a hookup site, right? I've, I've never used a hookup site before, <laughs> but I am lonely, so I've been using Love Radar. Our radars are tuned to bring hearts together and will locate the perfect match for you. You're very close to finding true love. Hopefully, hopefully not only our hearts come together, but <laughs> let's just, let's just next. Let's just <laughs> create your profile, your name. We all know the name is 100% tongue tied. Choose your gender. We go on guy, gender. Uh, of of chat partners. Oh, we searching for that future ex-wife material. Let me tell you, we we looking for our future ex-wife. It's nice that they have the options that you guys can choose from, though. You know, you can you can mix and match. Um, if you play through it one way, you could always go back and play through it another way. That way, you can see the different outcomes of of different options that you choose, which is pretty cool, pretty fun. Who is this? Your heart was tracked on the love radar confirm contact record what happens if i just exit out of it i mean i mean look i mean look at her i mean you would never swipe left you're always swiping right what is it left or right you always swipe swipe right on the left or right i don't know you're always you're always check marking you're always you're always adding this one you're always matching you're always matching with with that profile picture let me tell you so look 
Contact partner. Yeah. Contact request confirmed. You can now send messages to each other. Oh, we matched. Let's go. Where's my chat? There's my profile. Can I change my picture? I can change my picture. We got Hans. Is there a Charlie? No Charlie? No Charlie for my picture? You can add your favorite movie, series, song, food. That's pretty cool. But no Charlie? Oh, I'm just going to leave it like that then. Cleo. Hey, tongue tied. Let me check the settings real quick. Um... Normally there's like backgrounds. We want to we want to increase our tech speed. Oh, Cleo. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great, Cleo. Better now that we're talking that we matched. Maybe we can bring our hearts closer together. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else in here? No backgrounds or anything? Awesome. Probably somewhere I just don't know where. Maybe phone? No, no, no. That's that's make a phone call. Maybe our shop. Maybe we can shop. So th this is where you can get your flat rate and premium packs. We are currently already on the flat rate. Oh, here's our wallpaper. Perfect. Wallpapers. That's the one we're currently using. We want to use Dr. Crow, the healing prop might, maybe, maybe, probably. Ooh, that's kind of nice too. All the eyes. That's definitely an Argus wallpaper right there. You know, we're going to, we're going to go, we're going to go all the eyes. We got it. Select. Perfect. Oh, that looks so good. Look, okay, Cleo. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry, Cleo. I was a little, I was ignoring you a little bit. Hey, Tuck how are you? What are you up to? That was real smooth, wasn't it? Was it smooth? I don't know. Look, you're pretty enough. You can be, you, yes, yes, Cleo, you're smooth. That, that's right, all good. Find it hard to break the ice, too. That is, that is true. It is, it is hard to break the ice. Um, but did you know, did you know how much a polar bear weighs enough to break the ice? Hi, my name's Sung Tide. <laughs> Good thing I'm willing to give you a second chance then, is it? Look, uh, look, I'm going to go with that one. It's funny. It's cute. It's, it's, it's good. It improved our relationship. That's perfect. In the profile of a chat partner, you can see the current relationship status from zero to 100, which can influence significantly by your decisions. What's our current? Oh, we have 51%, Cleo. We got some pictures here. Okay. Shoo! Let's go, Cleo. Follow the Instagram, me singing in the car, new hobbies. Interesting. All right, Cleo. All right, let's get back to talking with Cleo. Cleo says, thank you. Let me try again. Oh, if you break out the polar bear icebreaker, I'm, I'll am i just fall in love with you. No. <laughs> hey, TT, my name is Cleo, and I'm glad to meet you. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to meet you, too. Slightly better. Still not inspired. Look, it, it, it's better. It's better. I'm glad to meet you, too. Good to know. Yes, indeed. I'm just going to come out with it. Am I your type at all? Oh, let me tell you, Cleo. You're more than my type. I don't know anything about you, but I'll tell you right now, you're my type. <laughs> or is it too soon to say? Sorry, it's been a while since I've done this whole flirting thing. Oh, you're doing great. It was way too soon to know. Never. <laughs> you're definitely attractive. See, I would definitely go with that. I would be super attractive. Um, but... The premium chat option is, I haven't seen enough to know. Maybe we can, maybe you can send me a picture or two, you know? A winky face? We all know the ladies love the winky face. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cleo. Let's, let's play this video. Wow, well, wow. Well. So you want to see more? Does this make it a little easier for you? <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you, Cleo. Let me, let me turn up the volume just a little bit. But yes, that 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 made it very hard for me. I'm sorry. Easy. That made it very easy for me, Cleo. Sorry about that. That was uh I didn't even read that message. It told me where the, the media was. Didn't even read the message. 
Yes, that, much easier. Wait, I have an idea. How about a little game to get to know or get get to know you game? I, I would love to get to know you game as long as you don't suggest Ludo. I have no idea what a Ludo is, uh, but fuck it, I'm in. Let's play a game to get to know each other, Cleo. Anyway, we'll play a classic. Truth or dare, or this or that. <laughs> this or that. You can be with this, or you could be with that. You could be with this, or you could be with that. Cool shoot, not really in the mood. What? Like, Let's do it. This or that. Let's do it 100%. I've got it. We are we are down. We are ready. First question. What is it? Shall I go easy to begin with? Oh, hit me hard, babe. No, I mean, just use the <laughs> What what are the options, Cleo? What are the or, or or can it get a little more flirty? Um <laughs> Look, bring on the flirt. Here we go. Bring it on, Cleo. I'm not afraid. I know how to flirt. I haven't flirted in ages, but I know how to flirt. <laughs> Kissing on the first date, yes or no? Look, 100%. We're talking face hugger from alien style kissing, you know? Like, before we even go out. Like, that's how we greet each other around here, right? Right? Is, is that how it's done anymore? I mean, maybe that's why I'm so lonely and single. It's because I... Face hugger kiss before we even go anywhere. Never make it to the first date. I don't know why. <laughs> Kissing on the first date, yes or no? I, I mean, sure, why not? Why not? I don't. I don't see anything wrong with kissing on the first date. I don't really know what it's like. Never gotten that far. Other than when I tried to face hug on the first date. Before the first date, just it it, it 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 stops right there. It doesn't doesn't go any farther. So I don't know, but yeah, sure, why not? Sure, why not? <laughs> I agree. If the chemistry is right and you feel attracted, it can be beautiful. B e a beautiful. Second question. What about? I got a question. Cleo, do you want to be my girlfriend? Check yes or no. <laughs> In a relationship, do opposites attract or do similarities strengthen the bond? I've, I don't fucking know. I've, been, I've not been in a relationship, Cleo. <laughs> my girlfriend and I should have a lot in common. Opposites are way more exciting in a relationship. Um, I don't know. I mean, look, I love myself. Like, don't get it twisted. I love myself so much that if I, well, if I saw myself, like, I could totally date myself. But I think I, I don't know. Like, I, I could date myself, but, like, do I want to date myself? Like, is that too, am I, am I too similar? Am I, am, like, to date yourself? Like, if, if you were, if you were similar, if you were 100% the same in every way, like, like, you have so much in common that, like, everything about you is the same, it'd be like dating yourself, right? I feel like I could date myself, but I also feel like, you know, it's kind of fun to test the waters with the opposites. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Look, I feel like there's definitely some, there's definitely good in common ground, but, but, but there's got, there's good in, 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 in having some differences, right? Diversity in your, in your beliefs, diversity in your, in, in your feelings and your, um, in your attitudes, in your personalities. I, I feel like that's good in a relationship as well. So I, I really don't know. I mean, I could go either way, opposites or or com in common. But you know, for the sake of the game, let's just go should have should have some things in common. I I think. I think. I don't know. You can't be too opposite, but you can't be too similar. You gotta gotta find the perfect balance. The purple lightsaber balance of of, of relationships, right? <laughs> 
I agree. On the other hand, having everything can be boring. Now it's your turn. You can ask me anything. Oh, I've got so many questions for you, Cleo. Actually, I think I'll pass. No, I'm not gonna ask. Not gonna ask a damn thing, Cleo. I I know. I already know everything about you. You like to kiss on their first date, and you want to you 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 want it to be similar with your partner, but also you like opposites. It, it, we're already too similar with each other. Like we 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 agree on everything already, Cleo. So are we boyfriend and girlfriend yet? Check yes or no. No. <laughs> <laughs> with pleasure. Here we go. Oh, premium chat option. But what are the other questions that we could? Would you rather be singing every word you could, uh, every word you say, or shake your head wildly during every conversation? Um. Uh, the other one is being able to speak all the languages in the world, or talk to. Uh, look, talk to am an anim animals. I would talk to animals. I would love that. I like animals more than people anyways, so I would be more than happy to j only be able to talk to animals. I don't want to talk to people as it is now. Let me talk to Let me talk to my dog. Like, if you... Look, I'm just being real. I've had deep-seated conversations with my dog talking about, like, I will not, 100% not, tell anybody if you just talk to me. Like, eye contact. Eye to eye. Just talk to me. I won't tell her. It'll be our secret. I I tell her that all the time. And she ain't trust me yet enough to talk to me. So, look, I would definitely talk to animals. But premium chat options, cuddles or kisses? Mm -hmm. We all know cuddles lead to kisses. And kisses lead to bringing hearts together. <laughs> bringing body parts together. Bringing hips together. <laughs> Both are nice. Of course, it always depends on the situation, but I love cuddles. Sarah. The hell is Sarah? Don't, don't bother me, Sarah. I'm talking to Cleo. Can I, I can't say anything else to Cleo. Look, Cleo, we all know that uh, depending on the situation, <laughs> cuddles ain't enough. And we all know depending on the situation, kisses ain't enough. Look, first date, kisses are enough. Other things? Cuddles just lead to it. Cuddles lead to massages. Massages lead. We, we look. We all. We already know. We already know. Let's talk to Sarah because I can't talk to anybody other than Sarah right now. Sarah, you're ruining my, my, my chat with Cleo. Oh my God! Please answer this. I don't want to die. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to lose my date with Cleo. So we're at an impasse here, Sarah. Who are you? If this is a joke, it isn't funny. What happened? Do you need help? Well, that didn't take long. Hello, scammer. Oh, we st we're still in our love finder. Oh, that's a that's a weird way to open up. That's a weird that's a weird pickup line, Sarah. I don't want to die. That's a weird way to get me to talk to you, Sarah. Look, who who the hell are you, Sarah? I don't even know who you are. What, what, you, what you got pictures? No, no gallery, no links, no notes. Life like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I mean. You're on the right app, Sarah. Don't get me wrong. Like, the attraction is there. Like, but are you talking about dying? I don't know. That's 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 a weird pickup line, Sarah. Say something, Sarah. I'm responding to you. We matched for a reason. <laughs> At least I think we matched. Cleo, I'm, I'm coming back, Cleo. Don't you don't you worry, Cleo. I'm back. I'm I'm here. I'm still here. Yeah. What do you prefer, cuddles or kisses? Cuddling or kissing? Kissing, likewise, both cuddling. Something really weird just happened. Look at this. Look, I, I am not about to ruin the magic that is forming with me and Cleo by telling her about some other girl that just messaged me. <laughs> Look, I like cuddles. I like kisses. We'll go both. Like, me and Cleo are just so similar. We're so... We have so much in common. We're just like perfect for each other. That's what I would have guessed. Sarah, what the hell, Sarah? I'm talking to, I, I'm gonna hang up. I was gonna hang up on Sarah, but look, I, I we'll see what she has to say. Please, you've got to help me. I'm being held here. Oh God, please hurry. I'll send you the link to a messenger real fast. As soon as you've downloaded it, it's very important that, oh my God, 
It's a weird way to get my attention there, Sarah. I don't know about all that. I'm talking with Cleo and you're just trying to pull me away from Cleo. Trying to distract me with danger and, and death and you're being held captive. I don't know if I believe it. <laughs> That's what I would have guessed too. Is this a bad time? Uh, it is, isn't it? You know, you know what? I'll be in touch again. Oh, fucking Sarah. You ruined it, Sarah. I was having a beautiful, beautiful conversation with Cleo. And you ruined it, Sarah. What the hell? I got I got words for you, Sarah. Okay, that was too far. What was that? Who's got, look that, that was that was too far, Sarah. Don't you understand what this this love radar is? It's not for creepy things like this. It's 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 to get to know each other and bring our hearts closer to each other. Not the weird things that you're sending me, Sarah. Oh, why did I just download that? I probably just downloaded a virus. 100 percent virus. Messenger APK has been installed. Awesome. That could have that might as well just said virus has been installed. All right, we got a chat. Loading backup profile, Sarah. Backup profile has been loaded. Your last login was 1,102 days ago. Well, I'm Sarah now. Oh, we're using Sarah's stuff. That's not going to be suspicious at all. Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Oh, we're not on love radar right now. We gotta, we gotta be mindful of what we say. <laughs> can't just, can't just constantly flirt with, with, with Jenny right now. But, damn, like, can I? Just, just a little bit, just a little bit, Jenny. Hmm. You lucky we ain't match on love radar, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> what disgusting game are you? I'm not playing any games, especially not the disgusting ones. <laughs> I was just notified that Sarah is back online, but you can't possibly be Sarah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not Sarah. Sarah ruined my relationship with Cleo. She ruined a potential future ex-wife. Let me tell you, Jenny. Speaking of future ex-wives, <laughs> Jenny, um, you ever heard of her? Uh, of an app called Love Radar, we should talk there sometime. Um, but look, I, I'm not Sarah. 100% not Sarah. But I talked to Sarah. And what's this about? Who are you and how did you get her profile? Well, I'm tongue-tied, TT for short. Uh, I just received a call from Sarah on a dating app. Weird, right? It's called Love Radar. You should join it and we can talk. We can have discussions about this or that. <laughs> we can bring our hearts closer together, Jenny, and simultaneously bring our hips closer. I, I'm, I, shit. Uh, I got I to gotta remember, we're not on the Love Radar. Uh, so she was completely panicked and asked me to help her. Then she sent me the access to this messenger along with the profile. Look, check it out. That, that is exactly what she said. Is that Sarah or not Sarah? Is that Sarah or not Sarah? You tell me, Jenny. Looks like Sarah to me. I don't know who Sarah is, but it looks like Sarah to me. Looks like a Sarah. It's not possible. Sarah is, I mean, who does something like that? Sarah's what? I mean, she's been gone for a thousand and one hundred days. So is she, what, is she like dead? Do you, do you think she's dead? I didn't see what she said, but now Jenny's calling What's up, Jenny? I don't know what to make of it. It can't be Sarah who texts you. You know, she... Wait a minute. The others are freaking out, too. You know what? I'll add you to the group chat, and we'll sort it out there. I, I couldn't have said it better myself, Jenny. Um, yeah, you know, um, let's sort it out with the rest of the group. The cinema... Cinema? Mobies? Cinema, cinema something? Um, I'll give you a call. That's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got we got the call. The the cinema bombies. Cinema bombies. Like zombies, but like movie zombies. Shh. Okay, so we got me. That That's me. I'm, I'm Sarah. Then we got Alicia. 
Leisha, you ever heard of a site called Love Radar? Um, <laughs> maybe, just maybe. Maybe we we, 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 we we would probably match, Alicia. I mean, shoo! Alicia. Oh, that's delicious looking. The pie, too. <laughs> oh, man, I'm terrible. What's up, Ben? Oh, beard game. Strong with Ben. Future X hubby material right there. Hell yeah, Ben. Oh, look at that puppy. Hell yeah. Ooh, that what a, what is that? Oh, it's um in a brewery or a bar or something. That's just a bunch of taps. Hell yeah. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. I like that painting. That's really cool looking. The, the puppy again. I love it. Got some links and notes. Uh, what did Alicia have? My dream bedroom, mental health, follow on Instagram. Okay. Oh, Jenny, the group's talking. Um, give me two seconds, Jenny. I'm, I'm looking at everybody's profile. Betty. All right, Betty. Shoo, Betty. Betty, you, you ever heard... <laughs> Betty, you ever heard of a of a of a of an app called uh Taylor Swift? Oh, the Eras Tour. That I didn't see it. I heard it was really good. I ain't seen it, but um, yeah, it it, it, it it apparently did really well. Apparently did really well. You ever, but Betty, you ain't you ain't never been on um Love Radar. I bet we'd have good conversations, Betty. Let me tell you. Uh, follow my Instagram, favorite song, favorite series, and then notes for like, I miss you. Caro. Caro? 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 I mean, we know this Steph. We know Steph. And, we, and look, I've, I've got love for Steph. Um, Steph already know. Steph already know she future ex-wife material. I mean, that's, you don't, you don't even have to, you don't even have to ask. Steph already knows that. I mean, you're you're apparent clearly you're gonna see some some familiar faces and you're gonna see some new faces and that's that's the beauty of reality games and these these series. We gotta follow my Instagram, follow my favorite YouTuber. We got horror dolls and uh, how I make art. All right, who else have we got? Uh Danu, Dan Danau Danu. I'm I'm gonna go to Dan. I don't I I'm sure there's a pronunciation there. I'm just not familiar with it. So Dan. A little wine connoisseur, Dan. Okay. Out for a little brunch, a little, little breakfast brunch. All right, Dan. Oh, Dan loving the wine. Really, yep, Dan, Dan likes the wine. I like wine every now and then. I like the cheap wine. I don't, I don't know how to... I don't know how to drink expensive wine. Like, I drink wine. I don't. I don't drink expensive wine. I just drink wine. Like, like a good. I don't even know what they're called. Just, I like. I think I like semi sweet wine more than than like dry wine. But uh, I like cheap wine. That that that's what I like. <laughs> we got Lily. All right, Lily. I mean, why haven't we met on Love Radar, Lily? Does a puppy. I love the puppy. Gotta love the puppy. All right, Lily. I wonder which one of these individuals are going to be really rude to me. And then we got Jenny. So we, 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 we met all of them. We met everybody. Dan, you serious, Jenny? Alicia, you didn't. You added Sarah's profile thief to our group. Guys, slow down. A profile thief is called tongue tied. TT for sure. It, uh, my friends call me TT. Um, you guys can call me tongue tied. <laughs> Just kidding. JK, JK, JK Knight. At your service. No. <laughs> uh, and the story is really bizarre. Look, I didn't steal shit. It was given to me. I was given Sarah's profile. I ain't steal nothing. 
I understand less than you do. Who are <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> Look, I didn't steal anything. And why are you texting with it? It was given to me. Dan I, I can already tell me and Dan are going to have issues. TT received a call from Sarah's profile on a dating app. Someone claimed to be in great danger. Then this happened. Right? Explain that, Dan. Danu. Dan Danau. Danu. Sounds totally credible. Uh, screw off, Dan. Um, <laughs> go find a wine to drink, Dan. And then <laughs> maybe Dan is just thirsty. Maybe that's what it is. Dan's just thirsty and being grouchy. Uh, that's what happened. You saw it yourself. This is insanity. I'm not dealing with this. Look, it's what happened, Dan. Alicia, don't do this to me, Alicia. I'm with Dan. Something is off. Caro, something is seriously wrong. All right, Caro. Sarah's been dead. Her profile offline for three years. Now it's suddenly active again. Now we just need to figure out if TT is involved. What? How? How and why? Why would I just immediately just like start talking to you guys like why if i was involved that'd be super weird that i was just like oh, i'm gonna talk to her friends now that well i i'm supposed i suppose some really sick individuals out there would probably do that but not me i'm not i'm not that sick <laughs> this is a profile of a dead person i'm not involved at all she can't be dead i just uh, she she can't be dead i just spoke to her she might be being held captive but she ain't dead i just talked to her i talked to her she she was scared. I thought she was trying to hook up. Like, to be honest, like, she messaged me on Love Radar. I thought she was trying to bring our hearts closer together. <laughs> Whoever you were talking to, it wasn't Sarah. Believe me. I want nothing more but Betty and I saw Sarah's body. We definitely, or we had to identify her, says Jenny. Carl. Hopefully you understand why we're behaving like this. She was a close friend. Her name was Sarah Stiller. She was murdered three years ago. Her killer was still at large. Killer's still out there. Was there a suspect? My God, that's terrible. Who sent me... Uh, but who sent me her profile? Why did you remove Sarah's profile from the group after her death? It was probably a coping mechanism. Probably hard to handle. Um... Uh, but then who sent me the profile? Like, who gave me the profile? Who gave me the link and, and practically hacked into my phone and made me part of Sarah? Made me be Sarah? I don't know who did that. That's what we have to find out because what happened to Sarah is simply horrible. Lily. What do you guys say, Lily? Hey, guys. 50 unread messages. Um, is anything cool happening or are you guys just spamming the group? Oh, let me tell you how cool this is, Lily. Um, apparently, I'm your dead friend. <laughs> let me introduce Lily. So typical. Just read the chat history real quick. Okay, okay, sis. So Alicia and Lily are sisters? It's okay, Alicia. Lily couldn't have known what's going on. Look. Look at what? I just found the article about Sarah's murder in the newspaper. Ah. Young woman brutally murdered, the fourth victim in a short time. In recent months, our community has been shaken by a gruesome series of murders. Several young women were brutally killed and mutilated. Their killer is still at large. Yesterday, Tuesday evening, another body was found. In the early hours of the morning, a jogger discovered the body of Sarah S. As we learned from police sources the injuries were identical. The 20-year-old had one eye removed and an X or cross was burned into her eye socket. Ugh, that sounds terrible. <sighs> the criminal investigation department is facing an unprecedented series of murders and Detective Chief Inspector Torben Fisher also emphasizes the seriousness of the situation. We have called in the local eye surgeon, Dr. Elias Frank. 
We hope that he will provide us with even more precious information that will lead us to the perpetrator. While the police are hunting a serial killer, a completely uh, different theory is already developing among the population. What theory is that, I wonder? My condolences, there were several victims. It's dreadful. Uh, that's bad. Look, and you're going to, like, take their eye out and then put a, just, like, singe an X into their eye? Like a cross, just an X marks the fucking spot right there in your eye socket. Yikes. Hopefully you're already dead when that happened, but pro I'm guessing probably not. I believe you, TT. Thank you, Caro. Caro? I don't know if I want, I don't know if I like Caro or Caro better. I say Caro a lot. I'm going to go Caro. I'll probably end up going back and forth. It's okay. Uh, but that means that someone logged in as Sarah on the dating app. Could you contact the person again? We need to know whether this is a joke or whether there's more. I mean, she was kind of a downer. I was having this like really, you know, kind of like blood pumping kind of conversation with Cleo. And then Sarah kind of like, Really kind of put a damper on things. You know, it was getting hot and heavy with Cleo. And Sarah jumps in there like, Ah, I'm being kidnapped or I'm I'm in danger. Like, worst possible timing, Sarah. Thanks. <laughs> what a buzzkill. Uh, <laughs> sure, give me a few minutes. I don't know what the point is, but I'll try. Look, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll just, let me let me reach out to the dead girl again. Love radar. Chat user deleted profile. Profile was deleted. Yeah, hey, look, I can't. Clearly, I can't. It's not happening. Sorry, profile's deleted. You know, sus. I know. I get it. Carl, have you found anything yet? Nope. Profiles deleted. I know. That's weird. Weird how that happened. But it is. It is. And and mm. yeah, there you go. There's there's the proof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really want to believe you, TT. Dan. Uh, but the deleted profile is somewhat suspicious. How am I gonna delete the profile, Dan? I know it sounds crazy, but that's what happened. The hell has happened? Look. That's what happened, Dan. I don't care how crazy it sounds. Damn how it happened. Ben! What's up, Ben? I just read the chat history. Oh, good. Lily's caught up. I'm telling you, something bad is about to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Betty. Hi, guys. Sorry, I'm running errands. I had to return a few books to the library. Ooh, Betty, a smart girl. Out here reading stuff. <laughs> I've also read the chat history. Lily, before we start panicking, let's look at what happened rationally. But before that, hello, TT. Hi, Betty. How are you, Betty? I, I hope you're doing well. What we know is that someone has gained access to Sarah's dating profile or copied the profile. It's unclear whether it was TT. It, okay, Betty, now you're throwing me under the bus. I thought we had a thing going, Betty. I thought we had I thought I thought we had something going. And what the motive is for all this, a bad joke, or a life-threatening situation, who knows? Come on, guys, nobody is in danger. It's got to be a lame prank. But not a lame prank by TT. After Sarah's death, we had to deal with a lot of internet trolls. There's an eyeball on my screen. Anybody else see the eyeball? Nobody else saw the eyeball, just me? I'm the only one who saw the eyeball? So they had to deal with a lot of internet trolls and jerks. No offense, TT, but I can't take you... Fuck off, Dan. Um, 
do I say anything about the eyeball? I had nothing to do with this. What was that? I'm as in the dark as you are. You said that. Pl if I say what was that, they're going to be like, yeah, you're an internet troll. Like, it, it definitely seems like I'm trolling. But how am I supposed to just ignore an eyeball? How am I supposed to ignore the eyeball? I don't... Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about the eyeball and and sound insane at the same time. <laughs> Hear me out, Dan. I saw an eyeball on the screen. What is it this time? I understand that you're skeptical. I don't think TT is one of those creeps. Definitely not. This is Sarah's real chat profile. There's got to be something more here. This might be our only chance to find out more about the murder. And that's why we should blindly trust TT. Yes, because I'm the best detective here. You know, you know how many cases I've solved, Dan? A lot. You know how many people died? A lot. But I still solve the case. 100% of the time I was I was accurate. <laughs> Dan zip it. TT is getting bombarded with details and accusations, but he's still here. Give him some credit at least. Thank you, Ben. Hell yeah, Ben. I like that, Ben. I appreciate you, Ben. I do want to help you, even Dan. <laughs> it would be nice to gain your trust too. I don't need Dan's trust. I just need Ben. That's all I need. All I need is Ben. All right, I'll hold back for now. I'm sorry for being so difficult, TT. Yeah, go grab a glass of wine, Dan. <laughs> but you have to understand that it's a really shitty situation for me, too. I just don't want anyone to get their hopes up again. I get it. Well, what's all this gibberish? Bunch of symbols. Literally nothing. Oh, phone's broken. Can we look at the profile? 0% relationship status. I probably wouldn't match on, on Love Radar either. All right. Awesome. You done? Thank you. Just going to break my phone again. Oh. Mmm, fucker. I mean, saw it coming from a mile away. I mean, the eyeball was there. Burn your eyes out. Burn your eyes out. That's is there is there other words in here somewhere? I don't think so. That was pretty blatant for them to just burn your eyes out. You're not getting my eyes. Anybody else get that? That was creepy. Really strange profile just contacted me. You guys want to see it? It was all gibberish. Just a bunch of random symbols and this weird eye at the end. There was this eye. It felt like it was actually watching me at the end there. Threatened to burn my eye. Yeah, I mean, it did. It did. It did, it did threaten. It did thre threaten to burn my eyes out. And it was a bunch of gibberish. You know what I'm talking about, right, Jenny? Like you know. I didn't even see. It. I, I I think she said she said something, but I didn't see it. Maybe it's the person who sent you Sarah's profile. Yeah, probably, right? Can you forward the chat to us? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, mm -hmm. here you go. Let me just. Uh... Can I? Uh. No, guess not. I can I can I. Oh, it's not there anymore. Mm. Nope, they deleted it. Uh, I swear I'm not lying. <laughs> Shocker. Shut the hell up, Dan. <laughs> Don't be so naive. You know what that was. Argus. Oh, it's Argus. Urban legend. 
Lily is all about Argus. Don't start that again, Lily. What the hell? Please tell me everything you know. Who or what is Argus? I'm totally lost. What are you talking about? Who or what is Argus? The hell is an Argus? Who is an Argus? What is an Argus? TT needs to know about this too. It may sound crazy, but hear me out. Remember at the end of the article, the news article, there are like a bunch of other theories are starting to develop. This is probably one of them. Argus. Some people believe that an evil entity killed Sarah and the others. The evil entity? Entity? Argus. Oh, is that it? Ew. Okay. Fucking eyeballs. You gonna do it again if I look at it again? Will it do it again? What are them eyeballs? Oh, it does. It'll do it every, every time. Interesting. You gonna do it again? So if it's doing it every time, then they should be able to see this too, right? Or no, is it just me? What the hell is that? What the what the absolute hell is it? It's got a bunch of eyeballs. I don't like that. It looks weird. It looks strange. Did it scare you? No. <laughs> don't get scared, Lily. Took a special sound effect, of course. Things like this. Oh, so Lily did that. Lily did did. So that wasn't a. That wasn't actually Argus that was screwing with me. That was Lily screwing me. It didn't. It didn't scare me, Lily. Didn't get me. It didn't work. Didn't. Took a special effects course for things like this. It's not funny, Lily. A, mani a maniac killed Sarah. Not some urban legend. So stop with the ghost stories already. If Argus isn't real. How do you explain the eyewitness accounts? Yeah. I mean, because people saw it. You know, eyewitness accounts are 100%, 100% trustworthy. They're just attention seekers, Lily. Also possibly true. And you're making fun of me. <laughs> what is this creature exactly? What eyewitnesses? Also, two questions I'd like to answer. Uh, but I, I, I'd, li I'd like to know more about the creature. Looked like I had a bunch of eyeballs. Probably eyeballs it took from its victims. And then singed a cross in their eye socket. Mm. She's got a point, TT. Should know more about Argus, too. I'll DM you in a minute so the group doesn't have to hear it again. Thank you, Jenny. Appreciate that. Ben, oh, I love the sticker. Ben with just a thumbs up. Ben seems chill. I like Ben. I'm happy to do that too. Great idea. Why? So you can have another one of your fangirl moments? <laughs> Better leave that to Jenny. Look, I don't mind if Lily wants to talk to me. You know, there's this app that we can talk more in private, Lily. It's called Love Radar. And <laughs> you can tell me all about Argus there. <laughs> have at it i'm off to make a cup of tea calm my nerves a bit i'll do the same talk to you later car was offline betty's offline go enjoy your tea jenny hi jenny hi there thank you for taking the time to explain this to me i'm a bit curious what you have to tell me. Look, I, I appreciate you taking the time. We just out here just improving our relationship with, 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 with folks like Jenny. No worries. We need to find out what's going on as quickly as possible. It's not easy to talk about. Sarah was my best friend. I miss her. Not a day goes by that I don't think about her smile. It would be easy blaming her death on an urban legend. Lily underestimates the brutality of, the, of humanity. It's exactly why her death hurts so much. Because another human being murdered my best friend, not a supernatural monster. Monsters exist in real life, not just in movies. I'm sorry, it's uh, been brought up again. 
we should get uh, on. Look, I, I am. I, I do apologize that it's being brought up again. Um, just know that it's not my fault. It's it's not my fault. I didn't mean to bring it up. I was brought in this situation too. Right. I appreciate that, Jenny. Like Jenny's like, it's not your fault. Like if if she said that to me, like my 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 uh um my my meter would go up a little bit. Like it would Im- improve our relationship status if she said that to me. <laughs> if there's even the slightest chance this could lead us to the killer, I'll do anything I can. I don't necessarily believe in Argus, but you deserve to know the story anyhow. Surely you've heard of urban legends before, right? Like Bloody Mary, Slender Man, and the Woman in White. Yeah, who hasn't? Of course, yeah, of course, who hasn't? <laughs> Just never heard of Argus. That's a new one. Good, you're well informed. Then you must know Argus. Argus is an urban legend, also. Here's a picture. Oh, another picture. You gonna you gonna screw with me on this picture too? Ooh, that is creepier than the other one. Yikes. Nope. Nope. Don't like that. Don't like that. So what is what is Argus exactly? I don't think anybody knows though. It's hard to explain. Oh, I know. Check out this video about Argus. He explains it better than I can. Argus. A video. Good evening, dear viewers. Tim! My name is Tim, and I'd like to welcome you to our episode of Behind the Legends. This week, we'll be looking at a fairly recent legend... But even this legend is in no way inferior to the older ones in terms of its ugliness and brutality. Light a candle, make yourself comfortable, and look forward to a little horror. Today, we dare to look behind the legend of Argus. Hell yeah, Tim. difficult to categorize. Its increasing popularity makes it almost impossible to distinguish between fiction and genuine eyewitness accounts, but I have dug deeper for you and I have come to the conclusion that there are serious and gruesome reports here too. Let's first look at the background. Argus is described in many different ways as a scrawny, long creature made of skin and bones, as a giant covered in muscles, as a little girl, or as something Ooh. almost animal-like with little human features. All these descriptions have one thing in common. Argus's face or entire body is covered in eyes. So what exactly is this creature? Where does it come from? And where words motivations? What exactly... Argus is, is impossible to answer. What we do know is that it has an insatiable hunger for eyes. Mm. Argus prefers to prey on young women, but there are also records of male victims. So, male viewers, you are not safe from Argus either. (laughs) What exactly is the M.O.? of Argus. The creature supposedly has tentacles on its hands, which are scorching hot. These slowly thread behind the victim's eye while the victim suffers incredible pain, thus removing the eyes. Okay, so you're definitely alive in this X into the victim's eye socket. These torments, my God, must be hellish. That was my first part in Argus. I will continue to keep an eye on this topic, and if there are any updates and new developments, 
I will, of course, inform you here on my channel. I'm glad you've been watching. I'm glad you could join us. I'll see you in the next episode of Behind the Legends. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. Sounds exciting. The video is really well done. People do anything for money nowadays. That's scary. The video is well done. I like that. Nice to see Tim again. Phone's broken again. You are not safe from Argus either. That was really loud. But why did it go back to Tim? Why he's to the point where it said, I'm not safe from Argus either. Pretty sure I'm safe. I know I'm safe. Argus can't get me. It, it can't, right? It tried once. You guys saw the video. I put it on Instagram and on and on YouTube. He tried. I got away from him. It, her, whatever it is. I got away from it. It tried. It, it couldn't couldn't get me. Couldn't catch me. So I'm pretty sure I'm safe. I'm safe from Argus. What was that part of the video repeated itself? Oh, you saw that too, Jenny? You saw that too? I'm surprised that Jenny saw. It. I thought I just I thought I was the only one that saw it. So strange. Let's hope it was a technical problem. I doubt it. It was probably an Argus problem. Back to Tim. He makes videos about other urban legends too. They're really good. By the way, do you have Instagram? Yes. Mm. Tongue Tied Games. Find me on Instagram. Give me a follow. <laughs> cool, then you should follow this account. They often post stuff uh, about Argus. You should even give, uh, you should even get a reward if you follow them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we follow. Look, we are, we are already following. We're already following reality games. Perfect. Easy. Simple. Been, look, I've been following this account for a while. Well, I got 15 Bix. I mean, but I've got unlimited Bix. Bix with a B. Unlimited. Seems like they're still using Bix as well, though. <laughs> Great. Now you're always up to, to date. Yes, I Ben. What's up, Ben? I don't want to disturb you guys, but... What's the status? Time's ticking. <laughs> Did you feel tongue-tied in? Hell yeah. I hope so. We Yeah, she did. She did. She she filled me in. Everything there is to know about Argus. I also showed him the video from this YouTuber. The guy with the behind the scene behind the legends channel. Oh, that weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's quite cute. You think everyone's cute, Lily? <laughs> Lily, do you think I'm cute? Check yes or no. <laughs> Don't make me look bad in front of tongue tight. <laughs> the whole thing is nuts, though, right? Oh, for sure. Bet he's back online. You don't believe in Argus bullshit, do you, Tongue Tie? You know what, Dan? I'm going to believe in anything that upsets you at this point in time. If if me believing in Argus is going to piss off Dan, guess what? I believe in Argus. <laughs> of course not. Creatures like that don't exist. I don't know what to believe. That thing gives me the heebie-jeebies. Look, I don't know what to believe. But if believing in Argus is going to piss you off, Dan, guess what? <laughs> Look, there are so many influences and eyewitnesses reporting on it. Am I really the only one that believes in it? Yep. <laughs> there are no monsters. Yes, sis. We've told you several times. Lily is the only one. 
Betty, the rational thinker. Think about it. A serial killer murders young women and removes an eye. Of course, the internet can think of nothing else but to invent an eye-eating monster. That's not the point. Right now, we need to figure out what's going on with Sarah's profile and the call for help. What do you think we should do, TT? Or what do you... Not TT. A new file has been restored in this profile, Sarah? Where's the... Let's see it. Media. Oh. File damage. Repair is being prepared. Okay. Let me... Okay, it, it, it's being repaired. It's fine. It's fine. Something just happened on Sarah's account, her profile. We got a, a video of some sort that's being repaired on Sarah's profile. What exactly? Let me tell you, Jenny. Mm -hmm. All right, let me show you. It's this media file. It's being repaired as we speak. Can't wait to see what's on it. Mm -hmm. This does seem to be damaged. Carl. What do you think we should do? You still there? Planet Earth to Jenny. Hang on. I'm texting with TT. <laughs> Me and Jenny, we got a thing going. We'll be back in a few. <laughs> BRB. Talking to TT. Okay. Here I am. You said a video appeared on Sarah's profile. Looks like her profile is slowly being restored. I don't know if I'm ready to watch the video. I'm ready. I'll watch it for you. Don't even worry about it. Are we allowed to invade her privacy like this? If she's dead, is it really an invasion of privacy? Probably. Probably still. But if she's alive and being held captive somewhere, then this could help us find her and save her. Probably still a little bit of an invasion, though, of privacy. So probably. Maybe the video has some clues about her murder. I'm not sure myself. The file is damaged, remember? I mean, it might have clues. It might, it might help us find the, the killer. I mean, we don't know. But... To answer your question, is it an invasion of privacy? I mean, probably. Me having, you know, complete access to her profile is definitely an invasion of privacy. I I don't know any other way of putting it. You think so? I'm afraid of what we're about to see. But we have no choice. Give me a sec. I'll look something up. Here we go. What? what? What did you just do? My profile crashed a while ago. I found a tool that could restore everything. It's a great program. We're about to get into the mini games. <laughs> you should be able to repair this file with it. I'll send you an app in a minute. Okay. I'm not exactly tech savvy. I'm super tech savvy. I'm the greatest detective in the world. Okay, I'll start right away. Um, can't wait to find out what that video is all about. Look, I'd, I'll start right away. Once you once you get me that that app, I will start it. Thanks, TT. No, thank you, Jenny. I wonder how Cleo's doing. <laughs> oh, and FYI, you can also connect the dots in a zigzag or diagonally. What are we talking about? Oh. Okay. Yeah, a little mini game here. Perfect. Easy. Easy. Probably the easiest game I've... Look, I, I hear and I see all the comments about how y'all think that I can't do the mini games and I just cheat because I got flat rate and I don't do the mini games and you guys complain about how difficult the mini games are and how easy it is for me because I just skip through them. Look, I'm about to prove to you guys how easy this is. I will do this mini game. I'll do this mini game just to prove to you how easy it is. And then after I complete this mini game super easy like, I don't want to hear any more of it. I, I don't want to hear... <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't want to hear any more complaining about the mini games being so hard and how I have it so easy because I got a flat rate. <laughs> don't want to hear it. URL. Re installing the repair toolkit. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna complete it, and then I don't want I want to hear anything else about it. I don't want to hear any more. Repair tool. For files being searched for further damaged files. Six damaged files found. All right, here we go. I'm going to do it. Play. I'm going to show you exactly how easy this is. We need to find five of the orange, five of the red. What is that? No, six of the red. I don't know. Five orange, six red, five green. Looks super easy to me. Look, we got, we got some blues there. We got these greens here. Let's take the greens out. We got to take the blues out. We got all these reds. Check this out. Look, diagonalies. Wait, we can go diagonally, right? It's not letting me go diagonally, but it's okay. I'll take out those, take out those, and and look, like we can. Boom, boom, easy, easiest mini game ever. I did it in like five moves. I don't look. I completed it. I don't want to hear anything more about about these mini games. However, we are at the mini games. You guys know. This is where we stop the, the video. We stop the videos at the mini games and we, it, it's like our checkpoint. It's like our checkpoint. But I look, I completed that mini game. I don't want to hear anymore. I don't want to hear about how difficult these mini games are. Super easy. Super easy. I did it. I did it. I, I <laughs> do not, do not fill up my comment section about how I have it so easy against these mini games and I don't ever do the, I don't want to hear it anymore. Don't do it. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys are enjoying Reality Games Argus Urban Legend. It's great to have it back. I think out in Germany, they're in like episode four right now. We finally got episode one in English. Super excited to see how this turns out. Um, Argus sounds creepy as hell. Don't know. Don't know what to expect. Um, but I'm confident that I am perfectly safe from Argus. And if you don't believe me, you can check out that video on Instagram and, and YouTube and TikTok where I look, I laid it all out that that I saw Argus. I saw Argus and I got away from Argus. It wasn't even that fast. Wasn't, it wasn't even that scary. I got away from Argus. So I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> if you want to see more Argus Urban Legend or if you're enjoying this playthrough of Argus Urban Legend, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments down below and do me a favor, you know, click that share button, copy the link, and then if you want, share it out with your friends and family, whoever you think might enjoy this content or this game. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.